I'm troubled by something, and I don't mean to dump on you, but I just needed to say this. It used to be, you know, we believe in the ordinary magisterium of the Pope and of the of the Church, and uh, people give their assent of mind and will to the ordinary teachings of the Pope, not just ex cathedra statements. So all the exhortations, the encyclicals, the motu proprios, they're all there. They can guide you. You can trust them. You can just let yourself be led by the Pope. What do we do? Right now, we can't. Look at Amoris Laetitia. If you're not, <laughs> if you've already done the mental gymnastics for that, you can't do them around the Acta Apostolica Seris. Look at, at uh, Gaudete et Exultate. Look at the changes in the Catechism on the Death Penalty. Look at Fiducia Supplicants. You have five documents that are supposed to be, and, and I'm not even including the motu proprio that destroys the Latin Mass, Traditionis Custodis. What is going on? I'm sorry, Father Durant, but it's just. Uh, all solutions are very unsatisfactory to me anyway. The whole thing is wrong. What's got to happen sooner or later when we, when we get done with this valley of tears, and it is, for any devout Catholic, this is very troublesome, very troubling. When we're done with it, there has to be a resolve made by the church that this cannot happen again that this cannot happen again. The, the body of Christ cannot be put th through this a second time. Why it's happening right now, I believe it because it has to happen. For whatever reason, God has willed that this happen for some sort of a purification and some sort of a better understanding of, of the church as an, as his mystical body. And you'll see there will be positive uh, ramifications of this in the future. It's terrible to go through. But it, I do not believe it's going to happen again. It will you no, know, I can tell you, it will not happen again. These are these are horrible times. This is a horrible situation. We have no real leadership. We have no real leadership. And the the way we were educated, and you just touched on that, John Henry. The way we were educated was we we're, we're to respect these bishops, we're to respect these cardinals, we're to respect the Pope. At the same time, they're putting us in a position where they can't be respected. It's, it's almost like the, 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 the priest who's caught with his, with his uh, fingers in the tills, stealing from this or abusing, sexually abusing this or that, but he loses his, his credibility. It's, it's gone. This is what's, what's happening on the level of the faith, which is a very, it's the most serious thing that I can imagine. More bothersome than anything else is that it is not by accident. I, I refuse to accept that any longer. It is not by accident. This is being done on purpose. And that's it. Here, here. I've also looked at this, if I, if I may. I've, I've been doing some serious thinking. I really have. And especially in these days. I don't know what it is about these days. Well, since he came out with the, with the, with the blessing nonsense. Had everything gone well from the Second Vatican Council and had everything been interpreted in the light of tradition, we would not be where we are. Nothing has been done that way. Nothing has been done in the light of tradition. We're talking 60 years of a lack of light of tradition. And this is the conclusion. Here, here, this is what it ends. This is how it ends. Uh, it is not going to get any worse than this because it can't. And it will get better. So I just tell everyone, please hold on. Wait. Take this as a personal and, and a collective penance for many things, for many things. We as a church, we have a, we have a lot to do penance for, especially in, in, the, in the especially in our recent history. It's a time for penance. Maybe this is the penance God's giving. Whatever it is, we're to endure it. We'll come out of it, and things will change. But not because I say so, because they have to. No one is going to put up with this any longer. It's it's this is this is the worst that it's ever been. And I've spoken to bishops and priests galore. Everyone says the same thing, but it also everyone is afraid. It's just it's incredible. It's incredible. That's where we're at. But I, I really am hopeful because this is not going to last. But there's an old saying, an old Spanish saying, "No, hay, no, hay mal que dure cien años." There isn't a, there isn't an evil that lasts a hundred years. My mother used to say that too. Whenever she was a little bit upset, she would always say, Charlie, remember, 
It's the first hundred years that are the hardest. We'll get through this. We'll get through this. We will. You'll see.